The new Ritmo is metal as Hey guys, this is Kevin from Jensen USA, and today we're taking a look at the heavy metal cousin of the Ibis Ritmo, the Ritmo AF. Now when you first look at the silhouette of this bike, you're going to notice there's some welds on it. It's still a Ritmo, but this is the aluminum version that features both an aluminum main triangle and an aluminum rear end as well. In the past, Ibis has always had kind of higher priced carbon builds, but those days are over. The Ritmo AF is here, it's affordable, and it's ready to shred anywhere and everywhere. Now this isn't just an aluminum version of the Ritmo. Ibis designed the Ritmo AF with a more rowdy individual in mind. They started out by swapping the head angle by one whole degree, which it now sits at 64.9 degrees, and they continued to put the bike with an offset fork, which gives it a slightly shorter wheelbase. The other big change they did was they adjusted the rear leverage curve for the rear suspension to be much more progressive, which allows riders to run a coil shock on the bike if they prefer that. The other degree measurement of the bike is the C-tube angle, which comes in at 76 degrees. Now that's not the steepest I've ever seen, but for a bike with this design, it works really well. It puts your weight over the front, so you get really good pedaling efficiency. Um, moving on to the lower end of the bike, first thing I want to talk about is the bottom bracket height, which comes in at 341 millimeters. Now this is what I would kind of call a happy medium, where it's high enough off the ground where I never felt like I was really pedal striking while riding the bike but it was also low enough where it still felt stable and in control at speed. Um, same goes for the rear end, which comes in at 435 millimeters for the chainstay length. And again, it's kind of a good measurement of staying playful, but also staying stable at higher speeds. So Ibis is based in Santa Cruz, California. And because of this, they you know, really wanted to make the Ritmo a great all-around bike that could still handle rowdy sections of trail when they came upon it. But again, you know, it's not going to be the slackest or the lowest or the longest bike out there, but I think that's great. This is a bike that truly anyone can get on and have fun. It doesn't really matter if you're trying to ride flowy single track or steep rocky chutes. This is a bike you're going to have fun on no matter where you ride it. At the heart and soul of every Ibis full suspension mountain bike is the DW Link. The DW Link was designed by Dave Weigel, who is renowned in the mountain bike industry as one of the greatest suspension designers of all time. The DW Link uses anti-squat to eliminate suspension bob, which gives you great pedaling efficiency. The design also reduces pedal feedback during the movement of the suspension, which gives it really good suppleness on the trail. The design also does a really great job of balancing acceleration and braking forces which allows the bike to have, again, great efficiency and also really good traction. So if you're looking for a bike that's gonna be a great climber, it's gonna have great small bump sensitivity, and it's also gonna track the trail no matter where you are, this is a great bike for you. Ibis has been using the DW Link for a super long time, and they've stuck with it because they truly believe it's the best suspension design in the world. The new Ritmo AF is gonna be much more affordable than its carbon counterpart, and every bike in the lineup comes with a 12-speed drivetrain. The first bike in the series comes with SRAM's NX Eagle drivetrain and it starts at $29.99. For all the Shimano lovers out there, Ibis created a build with an SLX 12-speed drivetrain that comes in at $39.99. And finally, there is also a GX Eagle drivetrain build that comes in at $42.99. Now my favorite features of the bike to start with is that every model of the Ritmo AF comes with high-end DVO suspension front and rear. Now DVO is a Southern California company just like Jensen USA and they've been creating really good suspension products for a number of years. So it's really cool to see an entire lineup of bikes from a great brand like Ivis showcasing their great suspension. The other thing about this bike I really liked is that it comes with Maxxis's XO Plus casing tires and the casing has to do with the sidewall thickness. A lot of companies with enduro bikes still stock their bikes with XO tires which are a little bit thinner and cheaper and lighter. So it essentially gives them a lighter published weight, but it's really a tire that's too thin for normal enduro riding. So it's cool that Ibis decided to just put better tires on it to begin with. If I had to say one criticism about the bike, it doesn't have stock ISCG tabs on it, which are the tabs that you use to attach either a chain guide or a bash guard. Now Ibis does have an adapter that essentially wedges itself between the threaded bottom bracket shell and the frame itself. 
um, which does provide you with secure tabs, but it kind of seems like an unnecessary step that could be avoided if the tabs are just on the frame itself. So no matter where I rode the Rip Mill AF, whether it was around this old concrete building or actually out on the trails, it was a super fun bike. It's really the ultimate tool for an exciting ride. What I love about it is I can basically take this bike to any trailhead and it performs great. If you're stoked on a Rip Mill AF and want to talk to someone about it, give our gear advisors a, a call. They're all super stoked on this new ride from Ibis. And if you want to get even more stoked, go check out the YouTube page of Jeff Kendall Lead. He's one of our partners with Jensen USA, and he absolutely shreds these IVIS bikes. Just as a reminder, every bike from Jensen USA ships to your door ready to build in three minutes or less. You just throw that front wheel on and you're ready to hit the trails. If you have any other questions, once again, give our gear riders a call. Thanks for tuning in today, and remember to always keep pedaling.